Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the news for Monday, September 7th, 2015. In the news today, we first have, of course, in the past few days, Microsoft. A lot of people have been talking about Microsoft, the big bad Microsoft that's been actually posting this little uh, gray rectangle when you search for another browser in Bing. It says Microsoft recommends Microsoft Edge for Windows 10, learn why. And a lot of people have been saying, well, that's not right, that's not fair. You know what? Lighten up, people. Uh, Google does the same thing. Okay, when you go on Google.com, it actually tells you, you know what? Better browsing experience will Google Chrome. So I don't understand what's the fuss about it. And you know what? It's just that same problem that we've been having with Windows 10 and Microsoft. Everybody jumping on Microsoft and Windows 10. You know what? I think people are scared because Microsoft's operating system is off to a good start. They try to, you know, invent some reason to tell that Microsoft's bad and it's just, you know, everything's horrible. Um, it, it's just continued like that. And you know what? The other thing that they don't say is that this shows up only once. So you'll see it the first time you search for a browser in Bing. But then it's not there anymore. And actually, I tried it myself. It did show up on my first Bing search, but it never did show up again, even though I wanted to search for another browser. So, you know, it's not like they're annoying you all the time with it. They're just telling you once. Google Chrome actually annoys you much more with their Chrome browser on the Google page. So, you know, there's no difference here. Um, I don't understand the fuss about this, and I think that uh, people need to lighten up on that. Google Chrome is apparently going to bypass ad blockers. So, um, if you're using Google Chrome, they did mention that um, apparently they'll be actually on some pages, not everywhere, uh, be displaying ads even though you have an ad block. And um, the reason for that is simple. Uh, people think of Google as a search engine. It's actually the biggest ad company in the world. Google makes billions off what? Not searches, ads. And so if you put an ad block, of course, you are cutting into, into the bread and butter of Google and actually of a lot of people, including me. And you know what? I understand why people use ad block because some websites are just so annoying with all the ads. Some are really pushing the ads to, uh, you know, a level where it's just dangerous and really annoying. And I think instead of having ad blockers, we should simply go to websites that, you know, are less aggressive with ads. I personally don't care about ads. I go to websites that have ads and it's okay and the reason I find it okay is including me you know my content that you are watching here is paid with ads and that's why you see this content I love making these videos but if I'd not make money with it I would not be posting these videos so you know uh, you gotta understand that if you put ad blockers you'll eventually have no content or you'll have to pay for content. People don't understand that, but that's what's going to happen. We have Cortana. A lot of people asking about Cortana in their own respective country. Well, first of all, in uh, Wave 2 and Threshold 2, we know that Canada and Australia will have Cortana English. We know that by the end of the year, Cortana French in French Canada. And um, you know what? Microsoft, once again, telling people to be patient. The reason why Cortana isn't available everywhere is simply because it's just complicated. They have to make Cortana adapt to your own country, your own language, the little differences in our language, you know, like English US, English Canada, English UK. It's not spoken the same. So it's important for them to have Cortana be as friendly as possible in your own native country. That's why Cortana takes a little bit of time before it's coming up. But be patient throughout the rest of the year, including also next year, we'll have Cortana in more and more countries around the world and more and more languages. Threshold Wave 2 is still stated for November, so apparently um, uh, they need a little more time to work on it. And um, by the way, Threshold Wave 2 will is like more, the first big update to Windows 10. It will not push the number to 10.1. It's still going to be Windows 10, but it's going to be a big update. Now, uh, that big update will add many new features. We'll, of course, have a brand new Edge browser that will have much more features and should be much more interesting to use on the web. 
will apparently have all sorts of new things to deal with, including maybe new apps, uh, universal messaging app, and so on. So as we have the details available, of course, we'll post the videos here. And finally, we're still, even though Threshold 2 is later than usual, apparently we're still off for a June or early July 2016 launch of Windows Redstone, which will apparently, from what we think, change the number from Windows 10 to Windows 10.1. And it's this is a very, very major update. This is almost a brand new Windows 10. So it's going to be uh, really major here. And um, from what we know is that they want to push this before Windows 10 uh, free offer ends because they know that it might actually push a lot of people. And actually, there's a lot of talk about um, the numbers that Microsoft been giving up on the uh, release, you know, the number of people that have Windows 10 on their PCs and one second wave of updates will might happen actually a month or two before the free offer ends because people will just rush to get Windows 10. So that's the news for Monday, September 7, 2015. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. For any comments, questions, anything you want to know, please feel free to uh, ask. If you have a problem, why not share it with us? We'll try to help you if possible. Hopefully you enjoy the videos. Give us thumbs up if you like. Uh, it helps us in the ratings on YouTube and uh, hope to see you again on the channel. Thank you for watching.